Matapos gumamit ng mga unverified o hindi siguradong ebidensya laban sa dating Pangulong si Rodrigo Duterte, Batangas Congresswoman Jinky Luestro, sasampahan na raw ng kaso. Mukhang sunod-sunod na nga raw ang karmang sasapitin ng isa sa mga pinaka-controversial na kongresista ng quad hearing na si Jinky Luestro matapos ang breaking news na isiniwalat ng TV News presenter noon na si Jason Sa na anumang oras raw mula ngayon ay posible ng sampahan ng kaso ni former President Rodrigo Duterte ng disbarment case ang kongresista mula Batangas. Ito ang shocking revelation. Dahil matapos nga ang naging pahayag ng Representative Rodante Marcolita na posible ngang mawala ng lisensya o madisbar ang kongresista. Mukhang tutuluyan na raw ito ng dating Pangulo sa pamamagitan ng pagsasampa ng kaso. Bukod pa dito ay binalikan rin ng ilang netizens ang pag-amin noon ni Congressman Jinky Luestro na totoong itinago niya noon ang kanyang asawa dahil sa dalawang magkasunod na kasong SA, sinuoy Mayor Noel Luestro. Kaya ba natuloy ng ilang netizens na lahat naman kasi ay nagmamalilis at kung sino pa umano ang nasa posisyon, yun pa ang lumalabag sa batas. Narito ang full update kung saan tila sunog at naliksyonan pa ni former President Rodrigo Duterte, si Congressman Jinky Luestro. Panuorin, pakinggang mabuti at kayo na ang bahalang humusga. Ngunit bago tayo magpatuloy, huwag kalimutang i-like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos. Maraming First salamat! First of all, I wish to acknowledge your courage in taking full responsibility. Full legal responsibility. All the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal, as you have mentioned, Mr. President. Hindi ko na kontrolado kasi mami. And, Mr. President, I wish to manifest that it is my humble opinion that one will not take legal responsibility unless there is no willingness as well to admit being behind all the killing incidents that transpired during the war on drugs. It is therefore the humble submission of this representation, Mr. Chair, that with that statement coming from the former president, he acknowledges that all the killing incidents during the war on drugs spring from his order to kill drug personalities. That is a manifestation, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I understand that the resource picker, the former president, is a lawyer. Mr. President, may I request that you educate the Filipino people and I am certain that you understand what conspiracy theory is all about. Please educate us, Mr. President. Uh, I may have some lapses already, but uh, I will give you the definition of uh, a conspiracy to commit a crime when two or more persons uh, decide uh, or discuss to commit a crime and actually do it <coughs> more or less ganon ang takbo ng ano Thank you Mr. President and you will agree with me Mr. President that under the conspiracy theory mayroon pong tatlong klase ng principal uh, One is principal by inducement Two is principal by indispensable cooperation. And three, principal by direct participation. Being a long-time prosecutor, Mr. President, can you please enlighten us on this? Well, uh, one is uh, yung induce. It could be uh, uh, an inducement could be uh, money usually or uh, inducement 
by a woman to a man to kill the, her husband so that they can live forever happily ever after or uh, a group of persons uh, sindicato lahat what is illegal gambling smuggling uh, these are the uh, they are the conspirators of crime so you have explained mr president principal by inducement it could yeah, be money yeah. it could be an order yeah. by a person yeah. who have influence over another Inducement. How about principal by direct participation, Mr. President? It, uh, you actually, you actually agree with uh, one another to commit the crime and you participate. Thank you. And how about principal by indispensable cooperation? Well, uh, in, in the sense that, uh, for example, if there is no way of uh, traveling from one place on the person who, who can provide the transportation a vehicle and that is would be indispensable cooperation without the vehicle you uh, commit the crime thank you mr president for enlightening us going back to your statement that you are taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs both legal and illegal it is my humble submission, Mr. Chair, that the former president can be considered liable for all these crimes under the theory of conspiracy by being a principal by inducement. I wish to manifest, Mr. Chair, that without the order, without the reward, these police operatives should not have resulted to killing a huge number of victims of war on drugs. Back to disagree with your premise, ma'am. I understand, Mr. President, but that is a manifestation. Yes, uh, but you Thank know, you, Mr. President. is supposed to do his duty. He, has, he goes to school for two years. He, is, uh, he received instructions to how to go about his duty and uh, we have to give the presumption of regular regularity that's a principal uh, principle of law thank na you mr president for every time na may ginawa kayo, in your favor is the principle of regularity presumption in the of regularity of, duty. of performance of official duty mr president thank you for your enlightenment mr president I wish to ask, with all due respect, considering your statement of taking full legal responsibility, both to legal and illegal activities, can well, I equate this statement of yours to an extrajudicial confession of guilt? Well, in a sense, yes. Wala na magawa eh. Are you saying yes, Mr. President? Yes, because I ordered the campaign against the drug. Uh, uh, syndicates. At kung anong ginawa nila, whether illegal or not, it was ako ang nag -autos. In that sense, I take that responsibility of their actions. Wala akong magawa eh. Commander ako, nag-utos ako. Puntahan ninyo yan. Eh, just like a commander. Or not a military, police. Iutosan mo. Pag may nangyari dyan, magkabulyaso, whether right or wrong, iyo yan. Iyo talaga yan. Kung hindi ka naman bobo na mayor, eh, hindi mo iwanan yung tao na inutosan mo. Unless yung pumunta doon, inutusan mo mag-operate ng illegal gambling or mga druga, tapos nag-rape, ano, nag, kung anong ginagawa na kabalastugan, uh, ako na mismo ang papatay, hindi na kailangan na hintayin mo pa. Mr. President, earlier, 
you conform to my statement that I can equate your statement of taking full legal responsibility as an extrajudicial confession of guilt. You said yes to that. Yeah. The, no, I'm just the, reiterating the, the question, it, Mr. It, President. It's not, it's not about guilt or a wrong. What I'm saying is that yung lahat ng inutosan ko yung war against drugs o yung isang platoon dyan o isang batalyon kung ano yung ginagawa nila kaya I take full responsibility for that Mr. Uh, President you are surrounded by I believe four lawyers hindi ko na kailangan ma'am because you are a lawyer I, yourself I can take of myself I can yes. take care of myself and of course you understand the elements of an extrajudicial confession yes you confirm that you are of sound mind and not only that body yes as well you confirm that your statement is voluntary yes and of course you confirm that you understand the consequences of your extrajudicial confession I understand, Mr. President. That's why we call it extra it, judicial it, it, confession. It, it, it is not a confession. It is a statement coming from the mouth of a mayor or a president at that time. It is not a confession. You are characterizing the Malik, ma'am. The do only not one. Do not characterize that as a wrong. Mr. President. Palisian. The only one that is missing among these elements is that it should be in writing. A what? And my question will be, will you be willing to translate into writing the statement that you earlier said? But of course you have a lawyers to help and assist you prepare this written document. Hindi ko na kailangan yan. Babayit ko pa writing. Dito na ngayon. May, may, it's documented by the records here. Magtanong na kayo na magtanong. Ano? Anong gusto mong tanong yan? Criminal? Mr. President, I wish to proceed to the to my next question. Do you know Laod firing range? Do you know? Alam nyo po ba yung Laod firing range? So, hindi, hindi. Do you know? Nalalaman nyo po ba kung ano o saan yung Laod firing range? Doon ako napapractice mo magbarel para pumatay ng tao. Thank you. Nagpra-practice po kayong bumarin oh, oh. para pumatay ng tao. Oh. And alam nyo din po ba yung Laod Quarry? Uh, hindi ko na negosyo yan, ma'am. Yung, yung firing range, ha? But at least uh, you ano, are ano, aware ano, ano, that ano? Laod Firing Range is situated in the Laod Quarry, within the premises and compound uh, yeah, of Laod siguro. Quarry. Within Tama po ba yun? Within the premises of a quarry, there is a firing range. That Do you confirm be, that, Mr. President? That should be the question. Do you know Ben Laud? Yes, I think so. Who is Ben Laud? He's a policeman. He's a policeman. He owns the land. He owns the land. Where the firing range is located. And do you remember, Mr. President, that the CHR, during the time of the former chairman, Laila de Lima investigated and inspected this Laud Quarry where they were able to discover human bones. Are you aware of that? Sino ma? Who, this, who, who investigated? Panahon po ni Chairman Laila de Lima sa Commission on Human Rights. Sorry, I do not know her. Nag-imbestiga po ang CHR tungkol sa extrajudicial killing hmm. kung saan nakadiskubri po ang taga-CHR 
ng mga buto ng katawan ng tao. Kayo po ba ay aware dito? I am aware of only one bone. Dala-dala ni... Sino yung sinabi mo? CHR forward chairwoman, Laila de Lima. It's there. Hindi... Isa lang po. And you are aware also that the former DOJ Secretary, Vitaliano Aguirre, represented Ben Laud in the investigation of the extrajudicial case, extrajudicial killing. What do I know about the investigation? Or If you are aware, Aguirre? Mr. President. Yes, uh, Aguirre is uh, my... Are you associated? Of course, you are associated to Vitaliano Aguirre as a he's, matter of fact. He's my... Uh, Contemporary. Sa And during your time, you appointed him even as the DOJ Secretary. Tama po ba? Yes. Because bright. During that time, Mr. President, you were the mayor. Tama po? Mayor no, of the no, Bau no, City. No, 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 no. I cannot appoint a, a secretary. Hindi ako, mayor lang ako po, so it has to be... Uh, Now, let me rephrase my question, Mr. Somebody President. Somebody else's job, not mine. During the time uh, when these extrajudicial killings happened, you were the mayor? Tama po ba yun? Well, not only during my time as mayor. Uh, Was there any point in time, Mr. President, na pinaimbestigahan niyo po itong mga... Buto ng tao na nakita sa Laud Quarry. Dala-dala nga ni... ni sino yun? Si, si, hindi yun nag-investiga doon? The CHR, Mr. President. Oh, si CHR. Kayo po ba'y nagpa-investiga? Even during your time as mayor or during your time as president, pinaimbestigahan niyo po ba itong mga buto na nakita sa Laud Quarry? Bakit ako mag-investiga ng mga buto dyan na karaming buto ng tao na... So you did not initiate any investigation? Of course. Mr. President, I will proceed to the next question. On December 31, 2004, nag-conduct po ng raid ang PIDEA 11, headed by Superintendent Wilkins Villanueva, joined by some operatives of PIDEA Manila National Headquarter. Anim po yung Chinese na napatay. But in addition to this Chinese, a certain SPO4, Val Carillo, apprehended Alan C. along with 10 other companions. Based on the affidavit of Mr. Lascañas, Mr. President, you ordered the killing of Mr. Alan C., along with the 10 other companions. That is not true. That is the job of the police. Hindi ko trabaho magpatay, ma'am. There are two important observations in his affidavit, Mr. President. Ang sabi po niya dito, si Alan C. ay nag-offer ng 200 million for the release of the two chemists and another 100 million for the remaining eight personalities but when he tried to seek your permission you refused and you even said madami kayong intel funds totoo yan kung bribery siguro yan hindi ko never in my are you monetary. confirming Mr. President that during this time Las Cañas and Sunny Buenaventura sought your permission whether to release Alan C. and the 10 others in exchange of the 200 million plus 100 million? You are denying it, Mr. President. Of course. But do you confirm that when you refused this offer, you even told Sunny Buenaventura and Artulo Las Cañas, that you have ample intel funds. So you don't need those bribes, if you call it bribe. 
I do not remember uh, making a statement like that. But uh, money for operations against crime, malaki ang funding ng Davao City. Another important observation, Mr. President, these 11 personalities were asked as to the whereabouts of their passport. Alan C. said that his passport was taken by the operatives, while the 10 others, ang sabi po nila, hawak ng employer nila, and the employer was named as Michael Young. What can you say about this? Nothing to do with it. Wala akong pakialam dyan. Hindi ako nakikialam ng mga passport. Mr. President, to conclude the question about this Dumoy raid, this is the raid of the PIDEA which happened in Davao Shabu Laboratory on December 31, 2004, where six Chinese personalities were killed during the raid and the 11 others were brought to Laud Quarry where they were summarily executed and buried upon your order according to the testimony of Arturo Lascañas. Do not believe uh, Arturo Lascañas. Let me proceed to the next question, Mr. President. In 1993, Mr. President, binomba po itong St. Peter's Cathedral in Davao City where seven died. Naalala niyo po ba ito? And according Point to Arturo Lascañas, what was the I would like to find out by, excuse me, uh, if Attorney Delgra is coaching the president because she has been whispering in the ears of the former president. What to uh, find out? Uh, Attorney Delgra, uh, please refrain from uh, coaching. The president is uh, able to answer it's all these questions it's being coaching, asked. Of him. Me. And um, About uh, you are only rights. limited to advising the legal your client rights. with his rights. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, I hope uh, you follow the rule, uh, Attorney Delgra. Uh, please he proceed. Does, he, he does not have to quote me. I know how to answer. Mr. Chair, 1993, Binomba po on St. Peter's Cathedral, Davao City, where seven died. Nalala nyo po ba ito, Mr. President? Simbahan, ma'am? Opo, St. Peter's Cathedral in Davao yes, City. At sangayon po kay Arturo Lascañas, kayo ay galit na galit sa pangyayaring ito. Sinong hindi magalit, ma'am? At dahil po sa inyong mahigpit na galit, ay inorderan nyo po itong sinalaskanyas na bombahin ang mga moske kasama po ang Kamamara Mosque at Bancorehan Mosque. What can you say about this? It's crazy, ma'am. Do you know that uh, my mother is a Muslim? That's an idiot uh, statement. In other words, you are denying. Of course. Mr. President, let me proceed to June Pala. Sino po si June Pala? Well, he was a broadcaster. He is a broadcaster who used to criticize you during yeah. his programs. Tama po ba? Everybody. Pati ako, tama yan. Trabaho niya yan. And according to the testimony of Arturo Lascañas, you ordered the killing of June Pala. Niwala kay Lascañas. Lahat na nandung participation ng crime niya, kanya. There's a pattern, you know. Look at the pattern of the crimes. Kanya lahat ng ano. Do you believe that as a policeman? Would I? Would I? Kanina po, Mr. President, I started my interpolation with acknowledging your courage in taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs and you said both legal and illegal. The reasons why I ask about Laod Quarry where human bones were found. The reason why I ask about the Dumoy raid where 11 Chinese personalities were summarily brought and killed to Laud Quarry. The reason about why I ask about the mosque bombing and the killing of Jun Pala is I wanted 
to substantiate the courage that I saw on you when you initially expressed taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal, according to you. You are uh, substantiated? Yes, Mr. President. Where's your proof? Mr. President, I'm anchoring my questions about the separate incidents from your initial statement that you are taking full legal responsibility yes. to all the victims of war on drugs. You said both legal and illegal. Yes. Mr. President, you are a long-time prosecutor, correct. correct? And of course, it is very fundamental upon us, all lawyers, the yeah. requirements of due process. We are zeroing in on a particular individual now. Due process is the law which hears before it condemns. Due process is the law which requires notice and hearing. If you say so. Mr. President, I hope that we will be reminded that by due process, the end does not justify the means. Kanina po, tinanong din po kayo ni Honorable Brosas about the number of the victims of war on drugs. Tinanong po kayo about statistics and you lamented na hindi nyo po alam or dala yung records. Now, I want to share to the public the statistics of the victims of war on drugs. We are... Mr. President, this is from PIDEA. I think this is a consolidated effort of Karapatan, Global Witness, National Union of Journalists of the Philippines, the Supreme Court, Rappler, and the Philippine Drug and Enforcement Agency. We have 6,252 individuals in police anti-drug operations as of May 2022. 27,000 to 30,000 individuals, including those killed vigilant style. 427 activists, human rights defenders, grassroots organizers as of December 2021. Land and environment defenders as of December 2020, 166. Journalists, media workers, as of April 2022, 23 victims. Judges, lawyers, prosecutors, as of December 2021, 66 victims. And mayors, vice mayors, as of December 2021, 28 victims, Mr. President. Mr. President, my question is, when you implement war on drugs, did you strictly comply with the requirement of due process? Yes. Mr. Chair, I will wrap up. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Chair, it is my humble submission that contrary to the answer of the former president, I humbly believe that the former president and his war on drugs never complied with the requirements of due process. The statistics show, Mr. President, the huge number of victims of war on drugs. If my memory serves me right, during the time of Aquino administration, there are like around 200 and during the present administration, there are around like 200 victims as well of war on drugs. Given this statistics, Mr. Chair, this is almost or around 31,000 victims of war on drugs. If indeed they follow the requirement of due process, wala po dapat ganito karaming patay. At ang dapat maraming kaso na pending in court. I hope all of us will be reminded by the fundamental law that no person should be deprived of life, liberty, and property without due process of law. By Mr. President's own admission of his accountability, both to legal 
and illegal actions of the police. It is the humble submission of this representation, Mr. Chair, that the Quadcom is ready to make a recommendation for the filing of the necessary action in court. That is a violation of the law, RA 9851, Act Defining and Penalizing Crimes Against International Humanitarian Law, or at the very least, the murder cases as defined under the Revised Penal Code. To finally conclude, Mr. Chair, last series of questions to Mr. President, again to substantiate the courage that he was able to show during the initial part of this hearing. Mr. President, in the past hearing of Quadcom, may tatlo pong Chinese drug lords na napatay sa Davao Penal Colony. Are you willing to take accountability and responsibility also for this? Wala na ako niyan, ma'am. Nadito na ako sa Maynila. So, uh, you're saying uh, no? Oh, uh, well, kung gusto mo isali yan, idagdag mo na, okay lang. How about the death of General Barayuga, the PSCSO Secretary? Are you willing to take full legal responsibility no, for this? No, I do not, I do not kill generals. The death of Mayor Aldong Parohinog and the 15 others in Osama City. Are you taking full responsibility on this? Hindi, hindi ako nagpapatay ng mga mayor, ma'am. The death of Mayor Espinosa of Albuera Leyte. Leyte. Are you taking full responsibility on this? Hindi ko, ma'am. That's my birthplace. The death of Tony Halili in Tanawan City. Malayo yan siya sa akin, ma'am. The death of Mayor Perez of Los Baños. Ibalik ko po dun sa una yung sinabi. If you are denying all this, alin po yung tinutukoy nyo when you said you are taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal? Yes. Kasi order ko kasi yung that was my campaign against drugs. Na yung alam mo, maraming istasyon, maraming police. Kung nagkaletse-letse doon, eh, bo, hindi ka maghugas ng kamay. Dapat sabihin mo, o, oh, akin dyan, kasi, nag, of course, nagkamali sila. Now, if there is an appropriate action na gusto ninyong uh, ilabas, then file the case in court. Wala nang pigil. Matagal na yan yung sabi extrajudicial, extrajudicial killing. I am challenging anybody or everybody who makes the accusation whether it is really true or not. It may be true. File the case in court because may court tayo. And even if I would admit na totoo yan, you have to go to court because I will make the admission there again. Are you saying, Mr. President, that when we, you go to court, you're willing to admit also your accountability for all the deaths during the war on drugs? I, uh, of course, uh, may, may abogado man ako, ma'am. Kung ano sabihin ng abogado, ako, sunod ako. I hope that everything that you said before the quad can be reduced in writing so that truly we can believe that you're taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal, because as lawyers, we believe that by extrajudicial oh, confession, good. we have to put that in writing, Mr. President. Totoo yan, I ordered the campaign against drugs. Hindi ako mag, it's a, it's a policy of uh, government or of the president. Hindi ako maghugas ng kamay. Hindi ako sabi hindi, hindi, kasi yung department niya, hindi, akin yun. Mr. President, last question. If one of these days the ICC will come, will you voluntarily submit yourself? Si Paen ko pa sila, ma'am. But you said a while ago that if somebody will sponsor your fare to the ICC, you will voluntarily submit yourself to their investigation and jurisdiction. Yes. Pero kung sila magpunta dito, si Paen ko, 
But will you confirm that you are willing to submit oh. voluntarily yourself to ICC? Punta ko doon, sipain ko rin sila. Same. I have nothing further, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Congresswoman uh, Luistro. The next to interpolate. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, Bill. with all due respect, Mr. Chair, the Sunday bombing of Davao City is known to me personally because at that time I was the chairman of the Human Rights Committee of the Interpol. Point of order, Mr. Chair. Uh, what is the point of order, Congressman uh, Akop? Uh, we do not know the personality of Attorney Bello, and he has not been invited as a resource person, and therefore has no right to speak before this yeah, yes. uh, committee. I agree, Your Honor. I have, I have no contra uh, contradiction to the manifestation of the... But I just want to inform this body of what the Easter bombing is all about. Because the, the Honorable Congressman Luis Tro mentioned about it. And she insinuated that as a result of the Sunday bombing, former President Duterte caused the bombing of uh, Muslim mosques, which is not true because at that time, Your Honor, he was just a fiscal of Davao City. Okay, salamat I know po. that, Your Honor, because I was the one who investigated this uh, incident upon the direction of the Integ Integrated Bar of the Philippines. So, for the record, Congressman Luis Dro, Mayor Duterte or President Duterte was a fiscal at the time of the bombing of the San Pedro Cathedral. Okay, it thank you. True. Thank you, Attorney Bello. Your manifestation is noted. Thank, thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. So, I have a 19 second video of the interview of the former president about the Dumoy bombing. If this representation may be allowed that, to. Uh, I think this is 19, no, 19 seconds, Mr. Chair. Seconds, okay, please. Uh, Secretariat, kindly play. Uh, before that, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of Vice President uh, Sara Duterte. Secretariat, can you please play the video? May I also remind the our lawyer friends of the former president to please I did it because I had to do it for my Sir President Mr. Chair I did it because I had to do it for my country That's it I reiterate this statement The president said that he reiterates the statement he made in that video. With that, Mr. Chair, then I conclude this interpolation. Okay. Thank you, Congresswoman Luistro. So again, before we acknowledge the next interpolator, I'd like to remind our uh, friends from uh, uh, the lawyer friends of our former president to please, uh, it is not allowed under our rules that... Uh, you can make manifestations but we do appreciate the information that you shared and uh, we will take note of that uh, uh, information but again uh, let me emphasize that under our rules we cannot allow uh, the lawyers of our guests or our resource person to speak uh, and address the 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 committee